is it just me? Everything I set upon unravels at my feet. Everything I've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free. The games industry is always absolutely convinced that we can only be this and this only until someone comes along and proves them wrong. Stray Gods is a role-playing musical where you control the song. Mm -hmm. You play as Grace, a college dropout who's not quite sure what to do with her life. A woman living in the modern world who encounters the last of the Greek muses. What the? Calliope? Who dies in her arms, passes on her powers, and Grace discovers that the Greek gods are alive and well and hidden in the modern world. We think that Stray Gods kind of appeals beyond just fans of video games. It's a really unique story and a unique experience. There are so many elements that go into this game to make it special that you can attach to any one of them and have an incredible experience. Stray Gods is what we call a role-playing musical. It's not really a genre that's ever existed before. You say you didn't kill Calliope. You have one week to prove it. What do I do? Start singing. This is a, a game with branching musical numbers where the key decisions in the story are made in musical numbers that change depending on your choices. Lost girls, lost girls. The way that we tackle music is one that people have never seen before. Boarding multiple branching paths that should link up to each other. There's a lot of considerations to factor in. It's very complicated, but it feels very worth it in the end. Perfectly fine on her. We got to work with some of the best, you know, the most talented voice actors in the world, the most talented people on Broadway, like, what more could you ask for, really? Being able to work with some champions like Austin Wintry, David Gator, Troy Baker has been nuts. At the end of the day, it came down to our composer, Austin. He works some kind of dark magic and you get it all back and you're like, don't know how you transformed that take into this, but it's absolutely amazing. You'll have to see, you'll have to see. We have such incredibly complex, thoughtful characters in this game. Every single character in the game has the potential to be a favourite. My favourite character is Eros. I really love Aphrodite. I think she is beautiful. Oh no, that's too hard of a question. My favourite character is, I think, Orpheus. My king, Orpheus. He's my favorite. It used to be Hermes, but Orpheus, emo king, love. Look at me, who do you think I am? I'm saying Medusa. I am the number one Medusa fan in the office. I love Medusa, and I love Persephone, and I adore Freddy, but my favorite. I reckon my favorite character is Freddy. I'm really gonna go and get the green here. My favorite character is Freddy. Everybody's gonna say Freddy, so I thought I'd say someone else <laughs> as well. But my favorite, oh, yeah, I'll say Freddy, but Medusa and Calliope and Persephone. <laughs> like, it's really hard, sorry. There is a level of belief in the studio in the themes in this game and the stories that it's trying to tell and the people it's trying to involve and the people it's trying to talk to that I haven't seen on a lot of the games that I've worked on in my career. We've assembled this superstar group of people. It is a Voltron of game development. Early on, Liam made a conscious effort to make sure that everyone that we hired culturally fit, but also had a conscious effort to make sure that we weren't hiring the same kind of people. Every single person who came onto this project brought something wholly and uniquely theirs. It's one thing to be able to hire to have diverse voices. It's also another thing to make sure that those voices are heard. It's just important for us that everyone, one, feels safe enough to share their opinion, and two, diverse enough that many opinions are shared from all sorts of walks of life. At the end of the day, Gaming is about joy, and I really like um, being reminded that making games can also be about joy. Lost in a moment. Very soon, Lost in a moment. the idols will be no more. Lost in a moment.